You're retired. You have no power. It's foolish of you to show up here making threats when you're in no position to carry them out. I will make this plain and simple. If you threaten my children again, any harm comes to them, I will splatter your brains all over the sidewalk. Harm is going to come to your children, isn't that right, Daddy? So you can both zip up your pants. Alexis Davis is in a position to drop the charges against my son, so I used the best leverage I could to assure her cooperation. He's just worried about Johnny, the same way that I am, the same way that you're worried about Lulu. I don't want to hear any excuses or explanations. I'm going to tell you again, you threaten my children, anybody under my protection, we're going to have a problem. You don't have anybody under your protection. In fact, technically, you're under Jason Morgan's protection, which makes it easy for me because Jason has already proved that he won't take action. You're a big, bad enforcer. Now that he's in charge, he wants peace at any price. This has nothing to do with Jason. It's about you and me. Stay out of my way. Or what? You'll just find out how retired I really am, Anthony. Okay, what's the point of pushing Sonny like that? I mean, are you trying to goad him until he just snaps and kills you? Would you grieve for me? <laughs> Not for a second. <laughs> Since you're being honest, I will be too. It would be much better for us if Sonny took over his organization again. He's much more volatile, much more prone to act rashly. So he's easier to manipulate than Jason. If I can... Uh, what, inspire Sonny to take back his power, it'll definitely be to our benefit. Okay. Nicholas Cassidy, sir. Hi, Batman. <sighs> I'm a busy man, Mr. Cassidy. Oh, what's the matter? People kill, bodies to bury? You can't go insult me. So I may hate everything that you stand for. But I know that you're a man who can get things done. And I also know that you're using all of your power and resources to find and protect your son. But I'm telling you to stop. My only interest here is protecting Lulu. And since she and your son are virtually inseparable, I've made arrangements for John's escape as well. You've made arrangements? Yes. New identities for the both of them, as well as transportation out of the country. Yeah, my son's not going anywhere except home. <laughs> Mr. Sakara, he held a hostage at gunpoint and fled police custody. Uh, whose idea was that? Uh, on top of the murder charge he's facing? And those things can be handled. Well, then I think you're delusional because if John turns himself in or gets himself arrested, he goes to prison for the rest of his life. The arrangements that I've made are his only viable options here. You think I'm going to accept your help? It's too late. It's already in motion. It's because of that little bitch you call a sister that Johnny's in this mess. She jerked him and Logan around, got them going at each other. If Johnny hadn't have killed Logan, it would have been the other way around. If you want to blame your son for becoming a murderer, you might want to look in the mirror. I'm getting him out of this country so they can have a life. My son stays with me. You and your sister interfere. I'll have your throats cut. Come on, this is productive, I'm not, guys. I'm not, I'm not scared of you. I've been dealing with murdering sociopaths my entire life. I won't allow you to interfere with my plans. You understand? Yes. All right, I'm on my way. What was that about? It doesn't concern you. It was an administrator at Shady Brook. Someone on the board at the hospital who came in tonight and had herself admitted. Well, it's got to be my brother. It's got to be Johnny that's with her, right? I mean, has anybody there said whether or not they called the police yet? Well, my sources couldn't say, but they've been all over the news lately, so it's possible. We need to get there before the police tell them. Get involved. 